Hello guys, JNM here with a new video and this one is about texture painting with Blender 2.8 and I will show you how to paint opacity to your texture. I start with this plane and then open the texture paint workspace. On the right side you can see the 3D view in texture paint mode and there's no texture assigned yet, so we'll add a new texture slot. The first one that I add is for base color. This is also known as albedo in the PBR context. I keep the name as is and the color to black and press OK. The view on the left side isn't updated, but when you click on the texture slot, you can see that it is refreshed. OK, now I turn to look dev shading mode and also enable the scene lights. And now the shading looks much better. I also disable the overlays. Yeah, that's pretty nice for painting. Ok, now the next step is to open the shader editor so that you can see the node setup when we for example add a new texture slot or add the transparent shader. I will do this in a moment. Here's the node setup so far, you can see the principal shader and the albedo texture added to the base color slot. And the next thing I do is to add a new texture slot but you have to activate the plane in order to see the texture slots, so I switch to object mode and select it. Then I go back to texture paint mode and here you can see the texture slots. And I add a new slot for roughness. We already had this in a previous tutorial, but I want to show you how to combine color, roughness and in the end transparency. Ok, here we go, the roughness node is added. And when I turn the color now to black and paint onto this plane, you can see that there is no roughness at all for these areas. So these areas are reflective and shiny, and when I turn the color to white, I can paint in rough parts. Alright, that's fun, but now let me show you how to add transparency. First I add a new texture slot and name it for example transparent. Now the slot is added and a node in the shader editor, which is called transparent as well, is created. I put it up here and then I add a new transparent shader. This is called transparent BSDF. Then I have to add another shader and this is a mix shader. Because I want to mix the transparent shader and the principal shader. So I just connect the outputs of the shaders to the inputs of the mix shader and the color output of the transparent texture I use as input for the factor of the mix shader. And this is the basic node setup to paint transparent parts to your textures. So when you paint black parts now with the transparent texture slot selected, these areas should be transparent. But as you can see, they are not. So it seems like that we missed something. But it's very simple to configure, go to the material tab and change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend. And then I paint again with black and I'm able to paint in transparent parts. You can do this in the 3D view and in the image editor as well. So that's basically it, before I forget this you should set the node for the transparent texture from color data to non-color data. This is because you're not painting color, you're painting in the opacity with black and white. So guys, that's it for this video, I really hope you like it. It was a request some time ago on how to paint with transparency in Blender and hopefully this answers the question. If you want to support me, think about being my patron. Thanks a lot for this, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.